Hi everyone, it's George here and uh, today Nokia released a uh, new beta version of uh, their Nokia Maps into Nokia Labs. So I went ahead and uh, downloaded it uh, and installed uh, the Nokia suit as, uh, as it's uh, called now and I'm going to show you <coughs> what's changed, what's new, uh, what's improved. Uh, let's start with uh, Nokia Maps the maps part of the Nokia suit. Well, the UI is pretty much the same as it was. What changed was that they added um, <coughs> they added um, like a voice uh, voice uh, recognition button here. You can just uh, tap on it and um, tell it uh, your address, for example, Watery Lane. finds water lane. It works pretty well actually. Uh, I tried it with a couple of uh, different addresses and uh, it, it, it recognized uh, all of them. So other than that, what changed is that <coughs> you get your pictures now. If you have taken a uh, picture with your camera and it's uh, geotagged, as in uh, it has a, uh, your geographical coordinates saved, then they will show up on the map. Now I only have one picture taken here, but it works very nice. This is a picture, you tap on it, it will show you like a full picture. This is a picture of the sky I took, gray sky. <coughs> and this is like iOS uh, places, you know, in the uh, iOS photo uh, application. I like this, it's a very nice addition in my opinion. Looks really cool and uh, it's, a, it's, it's a cool little addition. Um, next. In the drive itself, in the drive part of Nokia Maps, um, let's speak just drive. The uh, <coughs> the changes are pretty much. I think I think pretty much nothing changed here so far. I haven't been able to, you know, tell what's changed. This is the same. The um, the menu is the same. You can, of course. Uh, oh, what's added was uh, the voice search. I think got added. It wasn't here before, so that's what added. <coughs> and the the biggest addition to Nokia Maps that I'm very glad has returned is multiple routes. Here you can add. Uh, add the location to root um, like this add to root so you can have like multiple points multiple stop points this is great you know just uh, this was absent in the previous Nokia maps and I made a video about it but I'm very glad that it's back now and you can pick walk or drive you can add like uh, multiple uh, 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 points from multiple like like uh, places like my fav my position my favorites history from the map search let's try the search uh, strangely there is no contacts you can't add uh, you can't add a location from your contacts that's unfortunate uh, let's add cork for example. Okay, Cork City. Now you see it's added. Um, let's add. You can also delete, uh, move, and edit your route. Let's delete this and add a new route point. Again, let's try from search. Go way. Actually, let's try this. Go away. Great. Okay. Now, when you are done, you can either calculate from Cork to Galway or from uh, Galway to Cork. Here in the settings, you can change like uh, you want faster route, shorter route, optimized route. Just you know, pretty standard stuff here. And for example, let's move this up. Let's go from. How do you? No. Move. Doesn't seem to. Oh, 
Ah, yeah. It's a little bit unintuitive, but the way you do it is you tap here and then you tap here. So just a little bit unintuitive here. And once you are done, tap here at, and it will calculate the root. Okay. Okay, and you get your uh, route here. Um, the distance, the time it takes to drive there, and the route itself. You can now either start driving or save the route for later. This is great. I'm very happy that they uh, went ahead and added this back because this is very helpful. You can add, like, let's add another route. Let's add. Dublin. Okay. So we have uh, three routes now. Let's calculate. <coughs> it takes a little while because the uh, distance is uh, it's a long distance. Okay, and now you get your route, 400 and, what was it, 48 kilometers, so a couple of points here, you can, as I showed you, like, move here if you want, whichever you want, this is good addition, this is great. Uh, besides that, you also got uh, widgets on your home screen, you get these two large widgets, um, you get this uh, Nokia, Nokia, it's called Nokia m Map Ups, but I think this was in the previous Nokia Map Ups. These two widgets are, let me just remove them and add them again. Mm. These are uh, my location, which, which constantly shows you your current location. You can uh, also favorite your location. You can just if you tap here, it will just um, it will um, just get the GPS signal. You can also share your location. And this widget is places nearby. This will uh, <coughs> this will find your location, and it will uh, display p uh, just POIs that are nearby. This is a great widget. This is very nice. Works nice. Very smooth. Uh, the um, POIs are organized by distance from you, like 100 meters, 200 meters, and so on. You can, uh, of course, tap here and uh, get an information on this location. You can favorite it, navigate to it, add your review, or dial, everything. Uh, this one, I think, this I button does the same. You can favorite this location, you can share it via message or email. Now that it's found my location, I can favorite my location, I can share my location. Okay. Let's delete draft. It shares uh, with a message. And <coughs> also, you get a new weather. Where is it? You get a public transport as well, but this doesn't seem to work in Ireland, unfortunately. This is only for the United States. In the weather, hmm, the weather has been uh, redesigned. And I think for the better. Looks very nice. You get your speed, your just everything. This is a different view. Okay. You can add a city. Oh, this is a nice addition. You just swipe up to add a city. This is cool. You can. Uh, my cities, organize your cities here just whichever you want you can change units temperature and all that uh, you can send the feedback so this is cool let's exit the map loader is uh, the same as previously in the guide the guides got updated as well, I think. But frankly, I don't really use the guides very much. No, I think I think the guide 
looks I think the same but I, I don't know frankly I, I haven't used that before but these two widgets are very nice I like this constantly displays your position this one displays your POIs and by the way I had an AccuWeather widget here and this Nokia Maps update uh, ruined it it doesn't seem to work anymore so uh, I, I don't know why but it just doesn't resolve anymore so yeah that's I'm not very happy about that but other than that unfortunately just uh, some of the things that were missing uh, previously are have not been implemented things like uh, for example <coughs> let's open it here things like um, no day night mode are still the same there is no automatic mode um, in the uh, when you go into the details there are no coordinates displayed here previous Nokia maps uh, displayed it on the um, for example old Nokia N86 you would show details and it, it would tell you the coordinates this one doesn't tell you and this one also had an automatic mode into day night and automatic mode and um, you cannot share a place with uh, Bluetooth only share via uh, SMS and email this one had um, this one had uh, send blue message uh, email Bluetooth and OB as well so this hasn't been updated mm. What else? The dashboard is absent, but I'll tell you that in uh, part two because I'm running out of time. Thank you.